back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be replacing the, what is it, the windshield drip molding. It's on the side. I don't know if you guys can see those brackets, but here are all the brackets. So I'm going to be replacing uh, this all the way across the top on both sides. So this is going to be a DIY. Hopefully in Jesus name, we will be able to do this effectively. Yes. Quick Panda Express stop here. It's a little Honda. <laughs> and she's not what to say. So what had happened was the boxes were too ginormous. They were like 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 foot boxes. And my car is not 10 feet nothing. It's like not. It's 10 feet nothing. It's 10 feet nothing. It's minus a few. It wouldn't fit. Alright, uh, so what are we going to do? So we're going to go back and get his truck and then put them in there, see if they pop out. Most likely they will. And then we're going to grab those suckers and bring them back. And then we're going to DIY the car. See so, yeah. We got the big body. We got the truck. The big body. The big body. We're on the way to the Honda dealership. We're going to pick up those big old boxes. Alright. Gonna put them in. But here they are. I also have the clips. She actually forgot to charge me for the clips and quote me, so she gave them to me for free. So thank God for that. Anyway, here we go trying to figure out how to put this in. I have an idea. Oh, <laughs> that's not gonna work. It don't, no. <laughs> what in the world? I have an idea. Okay, he has an idea. He has an idea. Do you think that's good? Eh, I'll do it the other way. Okay. <laughs> I have straps. Yeah, I feel better with that. <laughs> vehicle have been broken whoever had it last I don't know what they did or what maybe they tried to replace it too but it's broken so I'm glad that they were able to give these to me and for free thank God um, but yeah just so you know you will need these different clips some white it looks like there's brown yellow and blue and white obviously all right okay, guys. so we are about to pull up this piece and he's messing with an old cut but if oh. you guys can see already you ready? All, yeah let's see it he's about to pop it up okay so he, <laughs> he actually started popping it up before <laughs> it's okay you got it. so it doesn't seem to be very hard it's just hot yeah Okay, so the whole piece. 
this whole piece came off. Okay, so let's look at it real fast. I wanna see how jacked up it is. Okay, pretty so weathered. Pretty, pretty weathered. And then the problem too was what? the inside right here, you look yeah. at it, you can see all the clips because it was exposed. Yeah. Now we we'll cover it up. Yay, I'm so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. Oh. I gave you four. One, two, three, four. Oh, each side is different color. Okay, Daddy. We're we're learning as we go. <laughs> Does it look hard? No, just make sure we got enough teeth. There we go. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Awesome. All right. Here it is. This is the old one and the new one. Then, want me to explain the... Mm -hmm. All right, so her windshield's actually a little slanted. The way that this piece right here should fit, it should actually have enough room to slide in um, and, and then go into this little slot right here. Um, being that um, her windshield is a little close to that nut right here, mm -hmm. it's not gonna make that fit. Mm -hmm. Over here, it's even worse. It's very tight. There's no, there's no room to slide anything into the, the in place. So uh, because her windshield is a little slanted, we're probably gonna have to try to reuse some of these existing ones, which shouldn't be such an issue. I think where it's more prevalent, you really gotta make sure you got a good fit up here, mm -hmm. and up here. We're not gonna have any issues, so uh, we're learning as we go. Easy clip. I think they're supposed to use a tool to remove it. I just rip it off. <laughs> Sorry. And it's dusty. But these things are so old and uh, and so uh, beaten by the weather and the elements, mm -hmm. they're they're just so brittle. Yeah. Right now, this is how it's gonna fit, like that. But right now, we don't have any clips on it, so we gotta start adding clips. All right, step two. Popping this one off. Oh, is it hot? Yeah. Super hot. Now let's look at this one. This one, if you can see, is all jacked up. Look. look at that. Look at that. So. Look at that. Wow. Ugly. And it was the, the clips were exposed too. so strong and aggressive. I'll take it. 
I'll take the cover. <laughs> So far, these two clips have been a lot easier to install than the other side. Yeah, they yeah. should have uh, enough space in front of the little nut for this to slide as easily in mm -hmm. and then to be inserted and then to be locked into place. The windshield was very close to the clips on the other side. Mm -hmm. See, there's actually like a gap here, a gap here. These two were perfect. I'm afraid these might give me some issues, but we will find out. And this is the easier way to remove them. <laughs> Gangster. And the other way was not true. Mm -hmm. But watch. So now, hopefully, when I put this little clip in here, yep, that's it. That's how easy it should be. Boom. You shouldn't be struggling. Nice. I can need a clip because that one goes directly onto the whatever this is called. <laughs> and then uh, those are the clips. Let's go down the new one. Put in. And this one, this one, this side was actually very smooth. We we're able to put in all the clips. So now. The cool thing about um, these up here is that they just snap on. Here, you actually have to put in the little little clips, mm -hmm. so that it, uh, the male end to female end. But over here, it's kind of nice. Too. And then uh, I, I recommend you put this side on first before you put down here, because once you install this, then you'll know how much overlap you have here, so you can put these clips in the right spot. Got it. Let's watch the master work. <laughs> the DIY king. <laughs> right now, I'm only going to put about the first two. Um, I want to put uh, these clips on now. Okay. So, see, now you know how much overlap you have here. And you know where exactly where everything's going to land right. when you install these clips. So, you're going to have three big ones. You can see these larger ones for the first three clips, and then the top one is the smaller clip. Okay. And the snap's on. And then if you need to adjust a little more, you can kind of push it with your finger until it's right where they're gonna connect. I got it. So you almost see the closer look. You put it in like this, like that, on the little rail, mm -hmm. and then there's a little clip right here that clap that, that uh, catches when you click it in. Like that. And you push it to make sure it's good, and that's it. <clears throat> first three small. I mean, first three big. Last one small. Remember that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and now the last one. The blue one. The blue one. I don't know. They're always the way blue. But that might be because we got out of the blue tip. And you line up all your little clippers. clippers? Actually, what you're going to have to do first is put this in like there that. There you go. See, so you got to put that part in first. Which is why I didn't clip on this this first one over here, this last one over here. Okay. So you got a baby strong. No, you, you shouldn't have to force anything. Oh. <laughs> if you force anything, you got an issue here. Whatever. Whoa. Ma'am, you can try to line these up so they're ready to insert, so you don't have any issues. Uh, you want to make sure that this little strip right here mm -hmm. isn't pinched underneath it because that's what's waterproofing this whole piece. This whole piece, so should be good. Mm -hmm. You just gotta beat it like a yeah, like, like a, a bad chunk. Oh, yeah, like a drum. Awesome. So let's have a look. Now, one thing that I just realized I did wrong. What? But it shouldn't really affect it because you have all these clips really giving you a really good grip. Mm -hmm. There's this guide. It goes in the front. It doesn't clip onto anything. Oh. But it kind of just guides everything to make sure that it's good. Oh, okay. Um, it goes right here. Okay. Uh, everything's clipped on good. It's not really going to make a difference. But my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can try to pull it, but I don't nope, want to break nope. a clip. You're good, honey. And I, you know what I mean? Yep. And I, mean, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. And then right here, same thing. Nope, not trying to break nothing. But right here, you want to make sure that your little waterproofing is sticking out. But it looks since 
It looks like the way that this windshield was uh, kind of made mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's, it, it's installed. It's a little yeah. off. Yeah. So see over here, you have a nice waterproofing. Mm. And then right here, it kind of goes into the yeah. windshield because your gap is too big on this side. Yeah. Too small on that side. Yeah. So I'm not even going to. Awesome. I'm going to call it. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. DIY making it work. DIY making it work slash twerk. Look at that. Looks great, guys. Awesome. Just so you know, too, a reminder, we did get this at the dealer. They charged us $249. And um, that was it. And they gave us the clips as well. She didn't charge me for those. Uh, so I don't know how much it would be with the clips. If somebody tells you they need to remove the windshield, I would probably not go by that but definitely get your car checked out just in case all right thanks for watching have a good one